We're using 40 milliamps, but not turning on. Hmm. PP Best G3 Hot is 1.6. On the other side, also 1.6. Perhaps it's shorted to ground. Wonder if we have a PP Bus short. We don't have a PP Bus short because we're getting 7.39 million ohms to ground on PP Bus. So let's take a look at the circuit responsible for creating. <laughs> creating PP Bus G3 Hot. And oh my. That looks disgusting. Hmm. But then we have this over here. What are you? You're a little resistor that just came off of the board as soon as I tapped. So as you can see over here, P-channel. Source is going to be coming from the adapter. Now, when that goes over here, Wonder Bread? Anyway, sorry. Uh, so th this is going to be 18 volts in the adapter. Now this resistor, R7185, takes the 18 volts that would be on the source of the transistor and puts it on the gate, which means the voltage in the source and the gate would be equal, which means it would never turn on. However, R7186 would allow this to become a voltage divider because that goes between the gate and ground. But it doesn't go straight to ground. As you can see, this goes to U7100 on charger S gate, which then would get to switch and choose when U7100 is going to ground. So U7000 would choose when this turns on. However, it can choose if that resistor is broken. And the same is true for this side, because as you can see, there's two transistors in here. And the purpose of this is to keep voltage from the battery from going back into the charger and vice versa. So what we have to do is scrape, get those pads back, and put that resistor there. So let's find a donor board and get that resistor. That pad does not look like it's coming back. It looks a little softer now. That looks that looks pretty nice. That looks like something that we can work with now, doesn't it? Ah, nice soft pads. All right. All we got to do is uh, tin those. We're just gonna slowly tin those nice, super soft pads with. With my tip, just tease it a little bit. There we go. Just a mild teasing. Don't. Just like that. Mild teasing. With the tip. Oh, it's starting to get liquid everywhere here. We want to try to find the nub. Sometimes it can be really difficult to find the spot of the nub that we need to work on in order to get everything going. So we're just going to be patient and find that spot, find that nub. There we go. Let's get our tip right in there. Now, we're going to thread it. Okay. Now 
There we go. Just thread it up. Okay, now we're going to blow that into place. Let's just put our blower on it for a moment. Now that's a resistor. All right. Just to solidify its position there. Thank you, Nick Lab. Fan spin. Fan spin. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can contact us about repairs. 